Welcome to another episode of Learning to Code with AutoHotKey. My name is Kyler Dalton. Let's get started. Today we're going to learn about what hot strings are. We're going to learn about hotkeys. Uh, we're going to learn about modifier keys and how to do comments. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. So first off, hotkeys. What are hotkeys? Uh, they're essentially keyboard shortcuts. So like Control C to copy. That would essentially be a hotkey. Control V to paste. Uh, Control Shift F. Those would be hotkeys. Hotkeys do things for you and you can make them do pretty much anything you want without a hotkey and a little bit of programming. So that's what a hotkey is. If you go to AutoHotKey and AutoHotKey.com and just look for hotkeys, they will tell you uh, pretty much all the hotkeys that you can use. Pretty much every every key on the keyboard uh, you can command to make do things. So that's what hotkeys are. So modifier keys are keys that you do before like a letter. So like Control C, Control would be a modifier key to C. Or if you did Control Shift, um, something, the Shift and the Control are both modifier keys. So modifier keys are listed here. So autohotkey.com slash doc slash hotkeys.htm is where it's at. So the Windows key, the Alt key, the Control key, Shift, and there are some others. So, but those are the primary ones you'll probably use most of the time is these primary modifier keys. So you'll get to know uh, what these symbols are pretty quickly. Uh, I advise you to memorize them, but I, I it'll happen naturally because you'll use them a lot. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do comments in this. So you can go ahead and get started with the script. If you don't have a script already, just open a new text editor and then you'll actually save it. Okay, put something in there and then save it as, I'm just gonna save it as ahktutorials.ahk. So it's a text file, but put the extension as ahk, as in autohotkey. And then autohotkey program will recognize it as a script that it can use. So. So saved your, you can call it whatever you want, just put .ahk at the end. So go ahead and save that. And put it in a folder where you, where you will put your other scripts. So what I like to do is put it on my Dropbox so I can use it both at home and at work because I have a PC at work. So it works really nice that way and syncs perfectly. So getting started, as you go along, um, it will be helpful to make comments. Comments are good because you can go back and and read what it is that that command line does without having to try and dissect what you were thinking at the time. So how to put a comment is simply a semicolon and then your comment. Everything after the semicolon or everything to the right of semicolon is a comment. You can also do a comment by slash asterisk. It's a hard word to pronounce. So anything between the slash asterisk, asterisk slash will be a comment. So this is how you do multi-line comments. Okay, so again, semicolon is a comment and anything in between asterisks and the slash is a comment. So simple enough, uh, let's go ahead and get started coding. I will see you in the next video.